Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emily and this is my channel, The Candle Nurse. And today we have part five of my series for launching my vendor wax business. So my vendor wax business is called The Candle Nurse Handcrafted Scented Wax. So I thought why not sit down and talk to you guys and show you the blends that I've created so far and kind of give you a little backstory on them so that you can see the hard work that I've been putting into it. Starting a business has been hard, but I have a huge support system. So the signature blends are really geared towards very personal experiences, whether that's scent memories, vacations, family members, siblings, parents, in-laws, children, work, that type of thing. And so I think that I've done pretty well and I'm really excited, you guys. It was a lot of work to get this thing up off the ground, a lot of research, a lot of testing, a lot of creativity. My husband, Billy, is the co-owner and he is the administrative business side of things. He's the guy behind the business that's, you know, getting this thing up off the ground with me. And then I am the creative face to the business where I'm doing a lot of the social media and that type of thing. I thought that I'd come on and you know just I've been very repetitive on some of the information that I'm providing you guys but I want you guys to know the information if you're watching my video I'm going to link my website mycandlenurse.com go there sign up with your email so that I have a way to contact you guys so that you can be notified I'm also going to link my social media accounts on here so that you guys can go check them out. I have a private group that I created on Facebook that I would love for you guys to join. A lot of small businesses have this for communication. This is gonna be where I am the most active. This is where you'll get like real-time information. I am going to also try in my darndest that if it's something that I really need to make sure people get, my customers get, I will email as well. But to get real-time information, the easiest way to touch base will be that Facebook group. If I have you on like Instagram or something like like that that's fine too we can figure out how to get in touch I'm really excited you guys I'm offering six count serenity shape bag these are the backs of the shapes and the fronts are facing that way but they're really cute each bag weighs approximately four ounces the price is going to be seven dollars and twenty cents I am in Arizona so we have made sure that we have everything in line for shipping to get these materials safe to you. So without further ado, let's get into these fragrances. So we have number 24 through 28. The first one I have up here is Little Sis. This is Viva La Juicy type, cardamom, leather, earthy iris, musky, amber, and bergamot. Little Sis is my sister, Michelle. She's actually older than me by 14 months. And her, this is her nickname. This is the name that my daughter, who is 16, named her when she was like two. So she used to call my sister little sis. So it's not aunt or anything like that. And the name just stuck. And then my other two children, as they were born and they could talk, they started calling her little sis. So it's little sis. That's what she's designated as. And so I thought what better to add that as a name. My sister and I are very close. We're very close in age and we are very close in a bond. And um, I love her so much. So I wanted to dedicate a fragrance to her. So. I'm starting to realize that I have some, some good ones that I think would be really good as like body care or like a perfume or body mist. This is so beautiful. The Viva La Juicy is so good. So you get like the Viva La Juicy with like a Santel with like a bergamot. You know what I mean? It's just so elevated. It's luxurious and I talked to her about what she wanted her fragrance to be and I think I nailed it but it'll really depend on what she thinks because she hasn't smelled them yet. I do think that this is a wonderful scent that will suit what she was looking for because we were really looking for, she specifically was looking for kind of an elevated, luxurious, something that you could wear almost as like a body care fragrance. And I think that I, I hit it. It's bright, it's got a little bit of fruity and if you've smelled Viva La Juicy, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's very beautiful. Then the sand towel underneath that, because it's the cardamom, the leather, the earthy iris, the amber. The bergamot just gives it a beautiful brightness, the type of bergamot oil that I have. And so I think that this is knocked out of the park. And like I said, I could be a little biased. I am the one who makes it. So really it's gonna be your guys' feedback, you know, that's gonna tell us otherwise. Next up is Bandit Panda. 
So Bandit Panda is smoky vanilla embers humidor type, which is a woodwick fragrance and creamy vanilla. Bandit Panda. So this is my brother-in-law, Andy. So I call him Andy Panda and my husband's brother. Like I said, I'm very close to my in-laws. They're just basically family. They're siblings to me. And so for his fragrance, I know that I have given him, had gifted him a few woodwick candles and he loved them and I gave him a humidor and he said it, he was just like really excited about it. So when I asked about what he wanted his fragrance to be, he wanted me to recreate that. Well, I have humidor oil in here, but I also added the smoky vanilla embers to give it a little bit of a depth and a creamy vanilla to kind of round it out because that humidor is very strong. So if you've smelled the humidor from woodwick, you're getting like you walked into not just it's not necessarily the cigar bar, it's the humidor where they're storing all the cigars. It's wonderful, sweet tobacco. Yeah, very beautiful. And the humidor just kind of takes over, but you get the embers underneath. So I'm really glad that I added that because I was like, it needs something more because I felt like I could just pour the humidor oil and then that would just be what he wanted. But I wanted to give it some type of depth, some type of elevation, try to make it its own for him. And I think, I think it's good. And this one was just poured on the 4th of July. So the fact that it's throwing like this already, I think it's gonna be a good one. It still has time to cure, you know? So next up I have Born Together. This is Beachside Mimosa, Bergamot, Cardamom, Leather, Earthy, Iris, Musky, Amber. So Born Together, that name came from my nephews. So my brother, Sammy, who's come on Sammy, and Shanna, who's Shanna Sunrise, which you've seen already if you watched the other parts of my launch video. This is their, their children. So they had a set of twins who were like the first children that ever made me an aunt. They're, they're older now. They just graduated high school. They're so amazing. They graduated high school and their associate's degree at the same time. So they did like a dual enrollment in high school. They're so smart and they're both going to really well-known universities and I'm just like really proud of them, so proud of them. So I wanted to do something for them. So this is definitely a luxurious fragrance. It's a little bit more like you're going to the beach though. So it smells like it could be a luxurious fragrance that's very unisex between, you know, is very unisex fragrance, but then that you're like going to Hawaii or something. The beachside mimosa just, it's almost like a little a little boozy, but not like, you know, like sparkling, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like maybe like Prosecco leaning. It's bright, it's wonderful. So I'm really excited to have made that fragrance for them and I hope that they like it a lot. Next up is Sea Breeze. This is Caribbean Sunset, Salty Sea Air, and Beachside Mimosa. This is good, you guys. It's very... So you get some sweetness, tropical, I think, from the Caribbean Sunset. Almost the Beachside Mimosa. It's like you get that fruitiness right up on the top. That Salty Sea Air just makes it so good, you guys. It's like fresh. It's... It's like fresh air, but it's sweet. I would say when you're smelling it, it's like you have a good mix of pineapple, um, pineapple, papaya, passion fruit, star fruit, all of those fruits kind of blended into it. I would say I wouldn't mind making another scent where I just add coconut to it. It's kind of missing some coconut, but it's wonderful. Holy cow. That one's a favorite for, for me. Like I'm like, I'm totally into those, the salty sea air with some fruit mixed with it. Like I said, I think it stands well on its own, but it would also be really beautiful with a coconut scent or some type of coconut. So you could blend, wow, that's wonderful. And lastly, we have my pride and joy. This is Ashes to Ashes. This is by the fireplace type, smoky vanilla embers, toasted marshmallows, sugar cookie roll, and Palo Santo. I am in love with this fragrance. You guys, it's so good. If you love Palo Santo, sugar cookie roll, 
the roasty toasty marshmallows and then like a smoky embers on top of it with that by the fireplace it's you guys this is top notch oh it blended so well yes so i'm in love with that get the sugar cookie royale on that makes it there's just something about sugar cookie royal that's just so wonderful what it does to a fragrance especially when you take something that's non-gourmand and is more like heavy perfumed type fragrance or cologne like fragrance and you add sugar cookie royal to it and it just like mellows it out and it gives you almost like you could taste it it's just like your note like almost like you want to lick the air type situation it's so good so ashes to ashes is a hit you guys i'm so happy so far with all my fragrances that's the first 28 of 54. Leave a comment down there. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when I post a video. Comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. If you are interested in purchasing these types of fragrances, I'm so excited to get going. It just makes me so motivated. I hope that you guys have a fantastic week. I love you all, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.